It is MCR and we are in the car. For those of you who don't know what MCR stands for, it stands for Medical Courier Rome. It's time for us to get it out. Today we're doing drop off. You're about to lock these socks up, baby. So, for those of you who don't know what drop off is, it's an app that you have. You go to CVS, well, in my area, you go to CVS, you pick up some specimens, and you drop off to a person, and then we make $160. We holler, we pop in our collar, and we're gonna drive 114 miles. It's gonna take about two and a half hours. But in this video, I'm gonna give you all the breakdown of everything, baby. We have been doing the gig apps every single day for one year straight. I'm gonna give you guys all the apps we've done and if they're profitable and the pros and cons of everything while you go out there and get that green. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and smash the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and do not skip those ads. We are here at CVS right now. Hey, it's time for us to get to this bag, let's go. We are here, baby, get these messages. Comment below and let me know how many things are gonna be in here, baby. Last time, I think it was six, 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 zero. Let's see. <laughs> One. What's that? One. You know that photo? Let's go. We go, baby. In the past 12 months, we have done 11 different apps. I want to give you guys a breakdown from the worst app to the best app. If you want to see any videos of any apps I'm talking about, all you have to do is click the video section and scroll down, baby. I have 365 of them. Plenty. Y'all ready? Let's go. Number one, the absolute worst app I've ever done was Chicago Messenger Service. Now, the only pro about this app is guess what? You can say you was a courier. That's it. That's the only thing that was good about it. The cons are they're very unorganized. You don't even know how much you're getting paid. I don't, it's, it's crazy. You don't even know how much you're getting paid. And when we did get paid, we drove way too many miles for the pay. We drove 200 plus miles and only made $73. Terrible. App number two is Shipped. The pros about Shipped is in some areas, you can do package delivery for Target, baby. You can go in there, go get some packages from Target and do that. The cons are, for the ones who are doing regular shopping, you do not know how much your tip is gonna be. I have a huge problem with that. Comment below and let me know if you feel the same way. App number three is GoPuff. The great thing about GoPuff is if you schedule a block and they don't have any work, you still get paid a base pay. The con is their base pay is very low and if you don't get any tips, <laughs> you out of luck, Chuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, App number four is Roadie, Roadie, Roadie with a devil wrench. Now, the pros about Roadie is sometimes you can get some very good orders. We had an order that we almost got that was $50 for five miles. The con is if you submit an offer for an order, they can still choose another driver. And that's exactly what happened to us. App number five is Instacart. Now, the pros of Instacart is you definitely can get some great orders. The cons are a lot of times customers want to add extra items while you're in the middle of shopping and you don't get paid that much for it. Not to mention, you can get tip baited. App number six is Amazon Flex, 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 Flex. The pros about this app is majority of the time you're going to finish your block early and guess what? You will still get paid the full amount for your block. The cons are you do not know where you're going until you get to the Amazon warehouse and you get penalized if you cannot deliver the order, even if it's not your fault. It ain't my fault. App number seven is Uber Eats. My pros about Uber Eats is you get a higher quality order and the customer can increase your tip after you delivered it already. The cons are, guess what? This is probably the number one place for tip baiting. As fast as they can increase your tip, they can also take it away. App number eight 
is DoorDash. Y'all ready to have a blast? My pros for DoorDash is you get a lot of orders sent to your phone and you cannot be tip baited. The cons are the app glitches a lot. There's an oversaturation with drivers. So you have to schedule like a week ahead of time so you can get on the grind to the end of time. App number nine, it's been a long time since we did all the way for the, all the way for the. The Spark app is by far the most profitable app we've ever done. You can make a lot of money on Spark. That's the pros of it. The cons are you can be deactivated very easy. <laughs> you, can, you can be deactivated very easy. Also, you only get orders two times an hour unless you're doing shopping delivery. That's the only cons of it, baby. Other than that, oh, one, 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 one more thing, one more thing. Sometimes you gotta deal with them Walmart workers. Woo! Sometimes the Walmart workers, it'd be critical. We are down to the top two apps I like the most. Coming in at number 10 is deliver that if you don't like I will leave and let you can be in the back seat. Give me, give me, give me. Coming number 10 is deliver that. The pros about deliver that is you can make great money very fast. For example, we just did one delivery the other day and we made $45 in 30 minutes. Comment below and let me know if that's a good order. Now, the cons of deliver that is if you have stack orders, say you have a triple stack order, if one restaurant is late, it's gonna mess up your whole day. So say the middle one late, you're gonna for sure be late to the other ones, baby. So that's the only kind of about deliver that. We save the best for last. We're here at the airport to get that cash. Our number one app coming in at a number 11 is Drop Off. We're here to knock their socks off. Now, the pros about Drop Off is guess what? You don't have to worry about anybody. All you have to do is go to CVS, pick up the specimens, and bring them here. That's it. The con about it is, if the collector is late, then you will have to sit here and wait to get this cake, baby. But we are here at the airport. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Again, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. And also, comment below and let me know your favorite apps. What apps have you done? Which ones do you like? Which ones do you don't like? Do you, agree with this? Do you disagree with what I'm saying? If so, comment below and let me know. We're here at the airport to school. Let's go. I'll see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know it. It's MCR, and we about to get out the car. Let's go.